Hey humans, welcome back to my channel, Twinnie BLB Mouth of the South. No intro. Girl, there's no outro. It is just this. Ha! Okay, let's get right into the video bag of the mother elfin day. It's this little beast. It's the Andy from uh, Coach, the small Andy from the Coach Outlet. Girl, when I tell you that I love this bag, I can't even... Why does this bag for a hundred and, what I say, 40 bucks plus tax make me feel as good as all these? Why? Okay, so that tells me one thing. I need to just stay in my lane, but you know I won't. But, girl, it hits me in the right... I love it. I love this bag. The softness of it, everything fits in here like a friggin' glove. I I love it. Okay. Scent of the day. It's actually two. I layered today. Uh, I went in with this Juliet has a gun uh, vanilla vibes. Yummy. And then I layered on top of that. Usually I go in with this first, but I did it reverse today. I was feeling like crazy. Um, I went in with this Kaoli vanilla 28. Pretty good. Pretty good. I am vanilla-licious today. I want to thank my video sponsor of the day. It is Julia. Remember, I did my Cartier Love Ring the other day. My second one, my last one. I'm not doing like Yota. I'm not getting a third one. My little uh, chunky fingers can't handle. I, look, where's she going? Nope. She's not going to stack that anywhere. <laughs> That's plumb up to my knuckle, honey. I have short, stubby fingers. Uh, so anyway, the sponsor of the day is Miss Julia Jewelry. Thank you so much. Let's unbox and see what we got. Now I'm going to, of course, link everything down below. So please use my link uh, to go over and see some really good stuff. Oh my. Okay, so you will get your jewelry. Sorry, phone dinging as usual. You will get your jewelry in this fancy little box. It will come with a fancy little gifting bag if you so choose to use it. Uh, pretty nice flex. Let's open the first thing. I can tell you it's probably a ring. I can't remember. <gasps> yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay, look how it comes. Will she focus? Yes. Look how cute. Now, you guys know I love these kind of statement rings that um, just for whatever reason don't meet. I just think that's such a cute little flex. And this one has a little diamond and... A little pearl which I think is adorable let's take this ring off because this one's kind of tight on this hand I don't know why but my right hand does that happen to you my right hand is fatter than my left hand and also which is weird my left foot is chunkier than my right I don't know go figure oh this is so cute it actually fits pretty good but seeing as how <laughs> my right hand is a lot lot bigger oh I love it yes I love this. Thank you. So I got it in gold tone, and uh, this is a size 9. As you know, the chunkiest of fingers over here. Love it. I'm going to link this and also just the whole site so you can go over there and check things out. Let me show you the other thing that they sent me this time. Okay, so you guys have ever heard of Lab Created Diamonds uh, Moissanite? They have it. And this is a more sustainable way uh, to flex with diamonds. I mean, because think about it. When you gem mined diamonds, uh, you know, it's kind of not saving the earth. We're tearing up the earth for what? When we can create these things better and they look just as good, you could never tell. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. It's a bracelet, guys. So I got this in the silver for my stack. It's a little curled up here. She's got kinks. And so does the bracelet. Ah, uh, yeah. But how flippin' cute is this? I love that it has a really good clasp because I definitely don't want to lose this diamond bracelet. But yes, girl, this is done in sterling and also very, very affordable. When I link it down below, you're going to be like, <gasps> I can buy a diamond tennis bracelet for what? Yes, you can, girl. Yes, you can. And do it. So, I do love this. I am going to try it on. 20 minutes later. Ooh! Yes, girl! 
Now, you know, I think a normal wrist, um, everything on me is chunky. Uh, <laughs> surprise, you didn't know? <laughs> Look, it is so cute. I'm going to leave it on there because I think it's adorable. It does turn a little bit. So <laughs> this wrist, bigger than this. Go figure. All right, girl, yes, I love, thank you, Julia. Now, I do want to tell you, I'm going to have to look at my phone for a second because they do uh, have a new partnership. Ooh, girl, if you know anybody that's getting married, I would have loved this for my daughter. Um, you know, her wedding was this year. It's the it's a site called She Said Yes. Go over there. I'm going to link that too. Go over there for all your bridal needs and all your anniversary needs, engagement, whatever it is. If you need some diamonds, putting a ring on it, definitely go check out their uh partner which is uh, there's julia.com of course and then they have tons and tons of moissanite items uh, i just love saying moissanite but it is called she said yes she said yes jewelry and i'm going to link all of this for you down below thank you again julia into this video so this video is um is ta is a tag video by uh the originator is cat l and she uh, sort of said, hey, what if you had a crystal ball and you could see 10 years into the future, what would your bag collection look like? What would, what would all the bags that you're using in 10 years in the future look like? I don't know. If I could tell the future, I would have every bag in the world because I get them lotto numbers first. But anyhow, <laughs> I don't think that my, I think that my current bag obsession probably will fade out a little bit. I mean, everybody in my family's hoping I'll move on to something else. I've kind of moved on to perfumes a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm still buying the bags, girl. So in 10 years, I really hope that I feel like I will have a Fendi Sunshine Tote. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> I think it will be a lot of coach. I'm just really into Coach. Um, I get very excited with Coach, even Coach Owl items. I don't care. I'm just really into it. I think if I, um, I don't think that I'll have most of these bags 10 years down the road. If I could predict what I would keep, if I'm looking 10 years down the road now, I'm going to be in my 60s then. I'm already a grandma, so... I mean, you know what I mean? What what am I going to do? Maybe buy a bunch of Michael Kors bags? Nothing against Michael Kors, but you know, I have had some Michael Kors in the past. But yeah, I think Michael Kors skews a little bit older, so maybe I'm going to just load up with Michael Kors and coach bags. I don't know. What do you think about that? Michael Kors do 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 do. Michael Kors do 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 do. Michael Kors do 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 do. Michael Kors. Um feel free to pass that along to him. He may want to use it as his theme song. Just saying. Okay, so if I could say what bags I will have in 10 years in my collection right now, this one for sure. Um, for sure this one. And probably Crystal Prada. Uh, Chanel, I don't see her going anywhere. I just, I don't feel like I'm going to buy much more Chanel. The quality issue is not even that. It's just the money issue for me. It's not even the quality issue. It's just money. Um, and I think if I'm being realistic and honest, everything else I probably could sell or gift to, um, like Dale said, gift to her family. If I'm growing tired of it and I want to move it on out, I think that my daughters will appreciate it. My granddaughters, uh, my daughter-in-law, I gave her that um, Madison Coach bag that I bought with me. Dawn and I did a, a video on that, the peachy colored one, the coral. She loves it. She put all her stuff in it. So uh, I did gift that to her. I knew I wasn't going to wear it, but I wanted to get it because it was such a great deal. Anyhow, so... 10 years in the future, I think it's going to be uh, for sure. I don't know about Michael Kors, but um, I still have a Michael Kors bag, by the way. Uh, maybe more contemporary. Some Tory Burch coach for sure, unless they have a fight with me again and, you know, we break up again. But I don't, I don't see that happening. 
maybe this cherry's bag. I might, if it's still functioning, I might still hold on to that one. But for sure this one, for sure that one, and that one. So at least three bags I know will be, and tons and tons of Coach, possibly some Tory Burch. I'm I'm kind of interested in maybe buying a little more uh, affordable Gucci bags, so maybe that's down the road. Will I have an Hermes? That's what everybody wants to know uh, when they do these videos. Not just for me, but you know everybody that's in the purse world. Will you have an Hermes bag? Maybe. I mean, maybe I foresee myself. I mean, I put positivity out in the world, and I uh, sort of do that whole thing of. Um, you know, reaping what you sow, putting out, you know, good vibes. And anyway, um, so I predict me being just very, very crazy wealthy. I don't know how that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So yeah, um, saying that probably yes, then Hermes is in my future. Specifically, I would love to have a Constance bag that's more structured. I like that. The Kellys and the Birkins, I'm not... I'm just not. I mean, if you gifted me one, sure, yes, whole day I would carry it, but um, I'm not going to shell out that. And those Constance, Constance bags are too high, too. But I would love to have just a, I'd like to have just a, um, what is it called? The TPM, the Evelyn TPM little one. I think Jesse has one. And Jesse, by the way, is the one who tagged me. Thank you very much. I am going to put her video and channel down in the box, so get around there and look around girl look around and roll around in my box okay <laughs> so um i'm going to tag everybody you heard i will put the slate up at the end that just tags the whole world i mean just everybody in the youtube community if i miss you let me know i will put your name in there and also uh Tell me down in the uh, comments, what do you think your bags will look like in 10 years? Maybe I won't have any bags. Maybe I'll have, you know, those three and that'll be it, girl. <gasps> no, I've always, I've always been somebody since I was in my 30s that had a lot of bags. So it'll be a large collection. I just don't know what they'll be. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back next week with a haul, a mother effing haul. So I bought some stuff from the Nordstrom sale. I bought some stuff since the last haul that I haven't showed you. And these are random things. Uh, I won't have a three, four, five thousand dollar bag. Sorry, but I might have some nice stuff that you want to see. So that's coming up next Wednesday. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and girl. Please, if y'all see my husband, though, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Okay, so here's the story. <laughs> here's the story all the time, guys. Uh, girl, my, it's Christmas in July at my house, right? Because uh, four kids. So my son and his wife. So my son, my daughter-in-law, both had birthdays this week. Two weeks from now, my two daughters share the same birthday end of July okay <sighs> about a month or so I want to say maybe a little over a month uh my youngest daughter who still lives with us she's she's just turning 15 uh her tv for real she'd had it for years and years um her tv went on the fritz I think she only watches like tiktoks and you know youtube compilations she doesn't watch much real tv but sometimes she watches netflix anyway she was really upset um because she didn't have a tv anymore you know in her room and you know we were like oh that's a shame uh, poor pitiful you but my husband being the nice guy that he is they get anything they want so he went and bought her a nice fancy new tv now tvs are kind of cheap now right i mean Granted, it was a bigger TV than what she had, nicer, newer. You know, that one was old. Um, and I want to say it's like a 40-inch. So, you know, pretty pretty dang nice, guys. A uh, couple $300, probably three-something. So we said to her, that is your, we're buying you this TV now because it's a necessity. Well, you know what I mean. You need it because you're out, the TV is out. 
but we're gonna do this because your birthday's coming up and this is going to be your gift. <laughs> So, in true kid fashion today, we spoil our kids, right? We spoil ourselves. I do, anyway. And we definitely spoil the kids and grandkids. But I said, uh, you know, I, I stuck to my guys. I said, you know, that's it. You, you might get a little something for your birthday, maybe a little cash or something or a gift card, Amazon card or something. But, you know, you're, you're not getting, I mean, that's a lot. That's usually like a Christmas gift, okay? And she was like, oh my gosh, mom, but that is a necessity. Like, that's an everyday thing. Like, like you know, it just went out. I, I didn't want it to go out. Like, that's not my fault. Like, I, you know, that's that whole thing. And I was like, oh, you don't want the TV? That's great. I'll take it and put it in my purse room. And I'll come in here and relax and watch TV on my own. No big deal, girl. Oh, we can take care of this. She was like, well, no, I need it. I said, you guys are so spoiled. Listen to me. I don't begrudge kids for having the technology that they have. That's the natural progression of things. But I said, you know what you're very lucky for? Do you want to know what the modern convenience of today is that I wish I had had at your age? Moist cotton nail butt wipes. I mean, that is a luxury and an advance in technology that... I got to be honest with you, I really needed back in the day. I'm sure we all did. This is a modern convenience. Flushable butt wipes. Guys, <laughs> you lucky little biatches. <laughs> These kids with their clean, fresh, shiny buttholes. <laughs> Who are they, biatch? Mm-hmm. <laughs>